Um. All right. Probe's turn. And the probe has already spotted you, and so it'll use a complex action to try to mark you. You will defend with Intuition and Firewall, which I believe should just be Matrix Defense. What's the worst thing that can happen to Overclock now? Oh, I temporarily um, have my device damaged. Yes. Also, we'll trigger alarm set up. Uh, it's asking, actually asking me which value to use as a defense. Uh, intuition and firewall. Well, I hit the defense button that says, okay, this one's intuition. Okay. Yes. Some of them require will. It doesn't matter if he sets off the alarms, though. We're not even close to the building. The modifier is a program I'm running. All right. Uh, this was an attempt to mark you, and suddenly there is a big Horizon logo on the chest of your persona. They now all are aware of your location on the Matrix. Recommend jacking out, and we just come back again. Yeah, overclock, oh, jack off. Guy yeah, I'm gonna... saw you from the very beginning, and he's incredibly overzealous. He's simply going to try to smash your device in. Uh, you will be defending with Intuition and Firewall. That is one. And I'm going to double check something real quick just to make sure. Yeah, if we get a message from him, we could go set off the firewall. Oh, yeah. We're not even near the building. Also, he is doing AR shit, so he's not going to be able to pay attention to us. Yeah, no. No, no, AR, I can actually notice you. That's the whole yeah, thing. That you not... No, no, I mean, like, your hands are, like, dipping all over the fucking air. You're, like, busy as shit. This is true. It's minus two. Uh, yeah, I'm simply double checking something real quick. Also, okay. Chris no, warned me this would be hard. Uh, yes. Uh, you take no matrix damage. You manage to, uh, back off the dangerous code that was heading your way and successfully defend. And it rolls around to your initiative. Not even three seconds has passed. I am just unplugging. All right. You plug straight out. Uh, I believe that's probably just a simple action or complex. Yeah, it's a it's that simple. Just boom. Okay, so you still have and one more simple action. You are out. Howdy. I am floating down and running back towards my bike. I am going to communicate with my other people. Wow, they have some stuff in there. I cannot get in. Okay, you begin heading back towards your bike, levitating and invisible. The levitate and go away, but yeah. Uh, as a point of awareness, you did do an illegal action, and you now have an Overwatch score that is counting down. Until you reset your device, it'll continue counting. I Resetting it when you're not doing anything is simple and doesn't require anything. Yeah, I'm just going to reset real quick. All right, you reset, turn it off, and head over to your bike. And we'll go ahead and close down initiative for now. <laughs> Overwatch. Uh, so about three seconds after you break in, uh, what are you telling them? That their their cybersecurity is is too tight. Okay. So what all do does everyone do? But I mean, did you get like a layout or anything? <laughs> Didn't we send you into reconnoiter? Did you... Um, yeah, but I plugged in for three seconds and everyone attacked me. Well, I mean, you were also the closest one to the actual building. Can yeah, I mean, I can, I, have a, I can have a visual of the place is very magically protected. Okay, how many uh, floors? Might, uh, yeah, I can probably just count the floors. Uh, there are four. Yeah, it's not that big. And they didn't oh, know yeah. where in the building the AI was, right? The last was trying to get, and I couldn't get into that now. No, I mean, when we asked Mr. Johnson. No, he, had no idea. he didn't know. He didn't right. know. 
Okay, so, uh, let's see. We'll actually have to sweep the place. Oh, by the way, when I asked, how many floors again? Four. Four. Four floors. Each floor has, uh, big, wide windows on them. However, they are office, win office windows, so are they are not meant to open. The old double F. And, of course, they are uh, shielded from view from the outside because, well, you shouldn't be able to see into it anyway. Okay, so let's see. What well, about the uh, surrounding buildings, by the way? Uh, the surrounding buildings, honestly, aren't very much taller. And they are owned by different people for different reasons. Did, did you get a look at them, what they were, while you were uh, basically next to them? I can probably take it. I can probably take a quick, yeah. A quick what? There's no reason I wouldn't recognize what the other buildings if they had signs. The other ones are uh, different engineering firms. A lot of them probably uh, connected to Caltech, using students who recently came from there. Some of them are owned by bigger corporations, and the ones in this area uh, have about the same priority as a call center. Right. All about similar size or bigger, smaller? Uh, roughly about similar size. So there might be. There is one in the general area that is two, three stories taller. I'm not sure how responses are to uh, hackers or uh, whatever you're going to call them. Especially since nothing actually occurred and it was a complete just runaway. No, situation. I'm safe. As far as they know, someone peeped in and left. Yeah, well, my question would okay. be, my motive would be on that would be uh, how much would they actually increase security? Would they just be more on watch, more actively scanning? Um, Clocky, if you got into where the AI itself was, would you be able to pull it out quickly and then we run? I mean, Chris, would I? Uh, maybe. Here's uh, where I probably should describe what the basic rules for catching an AI should be. Yeah, that's completely new to me. Uh, to take down an AI, let me go ahead and go over my notes real quick. Do -do -do. While an AI is down, moving them around will be a simple process of editing files, which is a very simple check that you will probably not fail at. An AI can be crashed like a program because it is loaded up into the device as a program. If you do this more times than their edge, then they go unconscious. And at that point can be moved around. An AI can move from device to device very freely. And it can hook into a device it declares as its home and use that device's stats to increase its own. So while it's in a host, it could be very, very dangerous. <clears throat> we need to find it and crash it a bunch of times. Yo! Can you, you uh... could also just simply try to destroy the device it's on, at which point you will probably damage it enough to cause it to uh, have to resort itself. However, Can... if you do that, it'll have irreparable damage. Can you wirelessly detonate your explosives? Yeah, I just gotta have you... Yes, you can. Alright, I need... Uh... What's the block look like? Uh, in what way? What kind of thing do you want to look for? What's the block around this place? I want the road structure. What's the road structure like in the block around the radius? Uh, it's a two-lane road uh, going east to west with a few side streets that are simple two lanes and All a right. few one-ways. So, here's, I'm going to need... How many explosives do you have, Boomer? Enough. I mean, how many? How much do I need to destroy a road? It, an entire road, or like make it impassable? Impassable. One. Well, it's concrete and reinforced metal, but uh, it's maybe not necessarily any stronger than the uh, buildings around it. With one of my explosives, one. Okay, give me like I don't know, ten. Uh, drive down a uh, back alleyway with sewer access, because I'm going to drop down and I'm going to plant them in the sewers underneath the road. And then when you guys are ready to do this, I'm just going to come back up, and then if need be, if it looks like we're going to take a long time in there, like HRT is going to come after us, 
then you can detonate the road, uh, detonate the bombs from a remote, which is why I was asking if you could do it wirelessly, and that way it'll buy us some more time in the future. And I can do this while uh, Overclock is going back home to get his gear. Right. Well, uh, let me about... let me come with you, so I know you're placing them right. I just thought you might not want to go into the sewers. I, that doesn't bother me. There's explosives in the tower, so that's the difference. All right. So Overclock, yeah, you were going just to go back home, grab stuff that you wanted, and head back. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. The okay. Only thing, simple enough. The only person who wouldn't go in the sewer is probably me. Overclock. I wouldn't really want to go into the sewer. Well, yeah, so me and Overclock would be the only one against going in the sewers. Okay. But, uh, um, yeah, so are we going to attempt to enter the building through the top, or uh, are we still going to the ground floor? Uh, the top's not a terrible idea. I could levitate us all up there, given enough time. Well, I've and... got a grappling hook and uh, gecko okay. claws, so I can climb it myself. Should we wait till tonight? It doesn't I matter, I'm because... I'm sure. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter because they don't have any closing hours. They're all always going to be open. No, it's better for me because I get less penalties at night. Sure, yeah, we have somebody who winces in uh, that. Yeah, I, well, no, I'm I the one that doesn't like the night, too. I forget. Griff? Yes? You want me to make demolitions for each charge I place? Uh, where are you placing them? In the sewer? Yeah. All right, you uh, have to go access the sewer first. Just give me a really basic perception check to see if you can locate a manhole cover that's not in the middle of the street. Can I assist? Uh, yes. You could roll two. Where's my perception? There we go. Come on, Batman, do it. <laughs> or the arrow, I guess. Oh, yeah. There's a very nice one out back. Also, while we're down in the sewers, is there, like, any running gas mains or something, like, we could pop it next to to make the explosion even bigger? Uh, do you know enough about, uh, city planning or infrastructure or gas mains to begin with? I have, again, area knowledge of L.A. I mean, I don't know. Uh, that, I don't think that necessarily qualifies you to know what's the most explosive in the sewers. I mean... Are there pipes down there? Do I can I knock them and hear if they're hollow? Uh, first things first, of course. Uh, the manhole needs to be lifted, but you have eight strength, right? I have more than eight strength. You, you simply lift it up without any penalty. I mean, unless that it's... manhole cover is over forty, uh, four hundred kilograms or whatever, you know. It's have a good hunt. It's a good hundred. I have eleven strength. Yeah, no. Anyone I, else would have had a problem with this, but you simply do not. Care. You could throw four manhole covers at me, and I could juggle them. That's ridiculous. Oh, uh, so the thing about uh, this is why me and him are friends. All right. The thing <laughs> about um, up. hold on. The thing about gas mains is intentionally they write gas on the side of the pipe, usually to signify so that they don't accidentally hit it. So that would probably most likely be uh, marked. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, you could tell me that over the, the comms. Um, Boomer and Carbine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just okay. going to sit over by the car. Carbine, it is a very tight fit. Roll reflexes. Just... You could add acrobatics in there, too, if you wanted, but I don't think you have I mean, it. gymnastics? I've got gymnastics. Gymnastics, yeah. There we go. So, gymnastics and agility? Yes. All right, you managed to uh, slip down the narrow manhole. I'm sorry, but physical there. limit 15 is hilarious to me. It is. Like I said, I do more than you expect me to have. If someone rolled a 15, would they physically destroy the barrier between the four? But Boomer, you go ahead and uh, start looking for lines. What kind of vision <clears throat> do you have? Do you have thermographic? I, ooh. I mean, I do. Do you I have mean... a flashlight? Hold on, I can put my helmet on just for this, and I have I have thermographic and low light and vision magnification, so I can zoom in. There you go, perfect. Uh, there isn't very much obstructing your vision here within the sewer, and aside from a few rats, you do notice that there is a utility line that runs along the uh, top, uh, the top of the sewer. 
You could follow it around, actually, if you wanted. Yeah, and you could probably uh, hook into it, too, if you had a data jack. Ooh. Though you'd have to break into it. Uh, hey, Clocky, when you get your gear, I found something for you. What'd you find? Uh, it looks like a, a thing that we can use to take the AI out. It's a utility line. But it's down in the sewers. Ah. Uh, I hate you, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you are laying explosives, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Okay, then. So, you're going to blow, try blowing up the sewer later. Uh, I'll go ahead and hold off the demolition checks until you do it, otherwise we're going to forget what the checks are and the damage that you're going to do with them. I mean, okay. makes sense. To blow up the road above the sewer, uh, not the sewer. I think you're trying to collapse the road into What the you're sewer. using yeah. and how much of it? Uh, I'm going to use five bricks of my plastic explosives. Okay, what rating are they? 25? 25. I'm going to go ahead and make a note here. Smiley face, that shit. Now, is that per section, or is that all, each one? Uh, how far apart are you placing them, yeah? Where? Say it again? How far apart are you placing them? Where are you placing them? <laughs> uh, I, I should probably do it about every 30 feet, just so it actually properly falls in. Well, I mean, to, do you have knowledge architecture? No, but I've been doing this for a while. I mean, maybe put a point in that, and you might be like, oh, I know exactly where to put something to make it explode the best. It's not a terrible idea. I mean, we want don't want to destroy the whole road, we just want to destroy the choke points so they can't get to where we are. We still have well, to get out ourselves. I don't know where the choke points are here. Well, from the road, I mean, all we have to do is follow the sewer lines. Back the can way I, we came down the road. Can I send my fucking fly spy to fly above where I'm at in the sewer so I know where I'm looking? Oh, uh, very easily. Alright. So I want to put... <clears throat> I want to leave one road open that leads, like, this. Like, around an alley behind the thing, and then that's where we're going to get out. Okay, uh, so you want to block the main road east and west, though? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are you going to arrange? Two and three on one side? Uh, I want to do, I want to do two and two, and then one at the entrance to the back alley oh. road, and I'll detonate that when we're leaving. So they can't follow us. In back alley. Okay, then. So, I've go gone ahead and noted that down. Whenever you explode them, we'll go ahead and make the checks. Uh, but you basically go about your business. Um, I'd say that takes about long enough for Overclock to have gotten to his place by now. One or two more things, and he's probably going to return. Is there anything else you want to do? I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. You're in the sewer. I know you meant that in real life, but it's funny. Uh, well, he's busy setting up explosives. What about uh, Carbine and Asagawa? Hmm. What am I doing? I mean, I'm just defending Boomer. What Come on. are you doing? These two goons have gone to the sewer, and Overclock has gone home for the time being. Oh, fuck it, I'm after telling you about an unsuccessful hack attempt. You've been sitting in his car for a little while. I'm just reading. Alright, you, you just have a nice little book that you brought along with you. Actually, it's Boomer's car. What does it say? Superman issue one! Oh no! Oh, you can find virtual copies of that everywhere. No, for I mean a price. actual physical copy. No, what you want is action comics. 
Yeah, I'm just. That's the first appearance of Superman. Carbine says over the. <laughs> I'm just reading. You fucking Nerd. philistine. You fucking philistine. Nerd. I was Get... actually reading a book while you guys were doing this super shit. It's reading Mar. Yeah, meanwhile we're setting up for the actual caper. I'm surprised well, you just try to walk in and <laughs> fix it all yourself like the hacker did. I mean, I. Not gonna do anything until nighttime, until security's a little less, a little more lax. Something I mean, you I... yourself only believe. Alright, so around this time then, Overclock will return. And probably as soon as Boomer returns too. All right, before we get this doing, does anyone want some uh, attribute-enhancing drugs? Hold on. I Jump might be... Drugs. I might be immune. I got cram, I got psych, I got some nitro, I got some long haul. What do you need? Yeah, nope, I'm not immune. What's cram do? It makes you act faster. Mm. And then it really, really hurts your intestines. Yeah, well. What were the other options you had? I have some psych, which uh, makes you mentally better. Cast better. Nitro, which makes you temporarily a badass. Long haul makes you not have to sleep for a week. Well, I mean, I'm already a badass. What would it do for me? Uh, I think it makes you go semi-berserk, but not full berserk. I'll give you exactly what it does in a second. You're not the best drug dealer. Man, what can you do for me? I'm uh, not really sure. <laughs> Just take these pills. Two strength. Make you go crazy, man. Here you have it. For 10 to 60 minutes, two strength, two willpower, two perception, two physical limits, and pain tolerance, uh, pain tolerance six. And what's the side effect? Uh, minus two to all limits and nine unresistible stun damage. No, I mean, what's the, uh, what's the downside is what I'm asking you. Oh, uh, after 10 to 60 minutes, you take nine stun damage. That would take me down. I kind of have it around to super buff the big guy if he needs it. Well, no, I am, but I'm saying, I'm saying. Uh, nine stun damage would knock me out, so... Yeah, yeah that's the point. You, you're really badass, and then you, uh... It's like a popper, like a super popper. Let's put it that I, I think I'm badass already. I don't I don't need drugs. I would, I would say something like that might be more effective to someone who is a midweight, in which we cannot physically move this man once he has fallen. Yeah, the, really, it's in case I get in a fist fight or something. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass on the whole being a drug addict thing. It's cool. If you really want to die, I have some kamikaze. Well, I mean, here's a question. You still there, Griff? Yes, I am. When I ate at the session start, did I drain a full person or did I drain a normal, uh, just like somebody that's been drained before? Uh, a person with less than one. Oh, okay. So I didn't get any bonuses. Okay. Mm -mm. So, I mean, I still have to feed then, is what you're telling me. Um, for all intents and purposes for the game, uh, you are considered to fed at the beginning of the month, starting right now. Okay, so for... Oh, say you, will not have to, you will not have to do it again for a month. Yeah, okay, so for 30 days at least, I'm good. Yeah. But no increase to my stats if I wanted to burn them without going under six. All right. Do you want to go find some fool on the street and drain them? No, I want to have that. That would be a fear drain. I don't want a fear drain. Okay. I prefer ecstasy drain. That's kind of funny because my character is like completely unenhanced. I mean, I can. That's why I'm. Uh, that's why I have a specialization in subduing com uh, unarmed combat. So I can knock somebody down, pin them to the ground, and drain them from fear. But that's more of a. Oh my god, I have to eat. Yeah, I'm gonna stay away from you. 
you know, you're riding in a car yeah, with me. Car with, are kind of scary. Hey, Overclaw, can I uh, drive on your bike with you? <laughs> yeah, that's perfectly fine. Let's just move you right over there to the bike. I don't know. Like, I, just I should give you an it. actual bike picture, but uh, I'm lazy. It's fine. Do it later. Uh, critical here. Someone's gonna go fuck himself. Can't remember where I saw the amount I can lift and carry and all that shit based on my stats. I'm trying. To, I've just been sitting here thinking about how to be a face. Uh, I was thinking about actually walking up to uh, into the building and acting as a uh, surprise uh, inspection person. They're just going to ask for your license and then tell you to leave. I was actually thinking about just walking in without any guns whatsoever. Maybe just my Fibonacci needler. Well, before we do that, um, is Griff here? Uh, yep. Okay, is Clocky here? Oh yeah, no, we were waiting on you to get back. Perfect. Um, okay, can I send my fly spy in through like an air duct or something? And then have it display on a screen and show it to Clocky and have him. There are air ducts on the roof, but they are locked. Specifically to prevent this kind of thing. And okay. real bugs from flying in. Uh, you could just hold by the door and then wait for someone to open it. Hell, I could go open it. How magically protected would it be? Would it be difficult to fling around a clairvoyance? Uh, it is a rating 3 barrier around the building. Is that minus 3 to rolls, or...? Uh, certain rules. We can go over breaking it if you want. I mean, is this, is but generally, this uh, the magical barrier will regenerate every turn. Okay, then you are correct about my character not being so useful in the first session. I was warned. Building. We're just sitting outside. Well, the building. if you were inside the building, you could project anywhere inside of it, or summon a spirit and have it move around anywhere inside of it. But to get into or out right. of the building astrally, you have to. Push Not astrally. I mean, I'm using the spell of clairvoyance. It's the one that opens a window, and I can bounce it around. Ah, yes. In that case, I believe it does apply some sort of penalty. Let's find out. It's actually very. Yeah, on my best days, I can bench press over half a ton. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I just realized, if I'm talking to someone, do I have to uh, charisma roll against all of them with one roll, or multiple rolls, one for each? I'd assume one roll, we should be talking to all of them at once. Yeah, like, I could just talk to them at once, right? Yeah, I don't see why not. I mean, I might get penalties for multi-talking, like, since I can't specifically word it for each one. But... Multi-talking? Well, well multiple... Talking to a group. Go to magic, magic, magic. Did someone just chant magic? Yes. Yeah. I can. yeah. Mana barrier, page 315, and this is just to make sure that it is just a penalty or a full block. It might be a full block, honestly. What does Carbine's room and Vidoma's house look like? Anyone attempting to cast a spell through a barrier must contend with the force of the barrier, which is added to the defense or the resistance dice pool of whoever you are casting against. I love I'm just making a peephole to see through time and space. Uh, it doesn't target anyone. I guess it might just be an additional minus three penalty. I can handle that. So I'm going to make a All right, three. so then it will be a total minus five because of the background count and the uh, IV. That actually does not hurt. Right, now, uh, now it's starting to hurt. Yeah, it really is. So let me try this. Um, this way I can give him, I can speak to his thingy while I can bounce the thing around and look. I mean, I can bounce the thing through keyholes given two turns. 
What are you trying to bounce around? I kind of missed uh, that part. Clairvoyance, well, clairvoyance right now. It's pretty much just a window through space-time to look through. But what are you, uh, what are you throwing it through, though? Oh, I can literally just throw it through the front door and then bounce it around. I can, like... Front door doesn't have to be opened or anything? No, I, I well, I, I, one of the examples is, like, if you can see through a window, you can bounce it through there. If you can peep through a... Keyhole. Oh, right, because it's line of sight rules, isn't it? Yeah, so you can literally move it to right in front of the keyhole, use it to peek through the keyhole, and then shoot through the keyhole. <laughs> there are, of course, windows all over the place. However, they do block line of sight. The front doorway, however, is, of course, clear. Well, he's walking through the front door, so it's literally going to be using it to follow him and keep an eye out on shit while he's doing stuff. Do you want all me right. to come with you, back you up, be the... In case the people try to um, bother you. Uh, but you are parked in the back alley, aren't you? Uh, probably, yeah. Wait, who's okay. going through the front door? I can walk around the building. I don't care. I believe Asagawa was intending to. No, I'm talking if Overclock needs backup. No, see, you said As she said Asagawa was going to go through the front door, and then Asagawa says, do you want me to go in with you? So I'm really confused about who's going in. Oh, sorry, no. I'm theoretically saying possibilities or like planning. Should, Should I go through the front door? Should I attempt to be? I mean, is it nighttime now? Part of Overclock's plan was opening the door specifically to do that. Alright, well, okay. I can cast it behind the building, bounce it around the building to where he is, and then when he opens the door, I can bounce it into the building. 